these autumn leaves are out of here. But plenty of others are still very much on display. Connor Knighton takes us leaf peeping. Each autumn, as the weather cools and the leaves turn colors, the country lanes and lakes of New England turn into tourist hotspots. Around $3 billion is spent over the course of a typical New England fall, as visitors from all around the world head off in search of the most beautiful yellows and oranges and reds. Knowing exactly where to go can be a challenge. Yes, go back to the light, make a right. right. But it's an obsession for one colorful character. I've had people go, hey, you're Jeff Foliage. <laughs> you know, they actually recognize me. Jeff's last name is really Folger, but he goes by Jeff Foliage. And I would not be surprised if his veins run full of chlorophyll, more than anyone I have ever met. Jeff loves leaves. My niche in life is the fall colors. It's such a little present. It's like Christmas for me. And I love unwrapping my presents and I'm running around New England you know, finding all these wonderful colors out here. Well, the presents at least are under a tree. Here yes. you have to find the tree. Finding beautiful trees is Folger's specialty. Ever since he retired from the Air Force 15 years ago, he's devoted his autumns to driving around the Northeast with his wife, Lisa. He photographs and posts the locations of the most scenic spots on his website and Facebook page so that he can share them with fellow fans of fall. I want to let everybody know where they can find the best locations. This is what New Hampshire has to offer, Maine has to offer, you know, Vermont, Rhode Island. But you don't work for the Tourism Bureau for any no. of those places. Why is no. it important for you to share that? I like being helpful. Folger lives in Salem, Massachusetts, and can drive up to 5,000 miles in a season. When you look at the news and stuff, they show broad bands of color. Well, that, that doesn't really tell the story. Just because an area claims to have the best foliage, not every grove or hillside is going to. So Jeff tries to be specific. Go to this barn, this overlook. That's where the good stuff is. It's around the bend. Yeah. It's down the road a ways. You're going to see it. You're going to go, wow. Everyone is obsessed with finding peak color, Fulcher included. But for him, the journey is just as fun. I like to say peak is more of a myth. Um, it's really more about the experience of getting out in the woods, exploring, uh, finding things that you really love, and you can take home the memories. Folger has a thing for old churches and covered bridges. He can spend entire days wandering around a small town like North Conway, New Hampshire. I like to stop and really savor when I find these things and you know, kind of get a taste for it. I think that's the best way. And yet, the clock is ticking. A few weeks from now, this will all look entirely different. Oh yeah, we're gonna lose a thousand leaves off that tree overnight. The winds are <laughs> right about 20, 30 miles an yeah, hour. There goes right one right there. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, oh a little oh, bit oh. of fall. Oh, it's happening. It's Winter's gone. coming. There you go. Oh, no, shh, shh. Not, not that, no, no. <laughs> Folger has an amazing level of fall recall. Part of the reason he takes pictures is so he can remember his favorite days long after the leaves have left. 2012, 2 October, 6 a.m., uh, Beaver Pond in on North Woodstock, Route 112, Lost River Gorge. And it was just a beautiful morning. The water on the pond there is perfectly still and the reflection is just a mirror of everything on the hill. And it was just glorious, you know? I remember things like that. 